Hello there and welcome back to another Genshin Impact video. This time, I want to talk about three characters that might or might not be playable at some point. Now, the first one is kind of obvious uh, because we've had rumors about him being playable for a while. The second one it ha we has never really been rumored but has appeared in the story. And the third one is already dead and uh, the theory th and the theory that I had for her, you know, uh, is not really going to be available anymore but I wanted to address it because, well, now we know how the resurrection works in Natlin. So, uh, who is the first character? The first character is Shabalanke. Now, why is why am I talking about whether or not he's going to be playable? For one reason and one reason only. The fact that it's been revealed that Shabalanke is the first Pyro Archon, which we know is long dead. But there is a but, because there, every human has a but, and Shabalanke was a human. The thing is. I feel like we have the possibility of getting a Shabalanke, maybe not THE Shabalanke, but if the name has become an ancient name after, after the first Pyro Archon's death, that could mean that someone in our current time, in the present of Teyvat, could actually get the ancient name of Shabalanke. Now, the thing is, it's not going to be the same character that we would be expecting, right? It wouldn't be the first human to ascend to Archonhood, or as some people thought beforehand, the Pyro Sovereign. Speaking of which, what's up with the Pyro Sovereign, am I right? Because, like, now that Chapalanke has been confirmed to not have been the Pyro Sovereign, do we know anything about it anymore? Maybe I missed something during the quests. But I do know that someone did help uh, Shabalanki get the first name and become the Pyro Archon. In the end, do I think Shabalanki is going to be playable? There's a high possibility. There's a, a especially if the ancient name thing does end up happening, and we will be getting a character that will uh, will have the name of Shabalanki. I honestly wouldn't be too surprised if technically every Pyro Archon has the ancient name Shapalanki based purely on the fact that he was the first uh, the first Archon. It could be an interesting reveal uh, that Mavuika has Shapalanki as her ancient name, which would technically give us two characters in one, I guess. And speaking of Mavuika, do we know anything about her demon name? Because I don't think we do. At least not at this point. Now, who is the second character? The second character is Dottore. Yes, Dottore, the uh, Mr. Dottore, who has appeared during the Sumero Archon quest, and we haven't heard of uh, anything about him since then, pretty much. Now, do I think he's gonna be playable or not? There's actually a way he could be. The one we've seen, both in the manga and in the game, there's no way he's going to be playable because we know how awful of a person, how evil of a person Dottore is, through the manipulation he did, uh, he, uh, through the way he manipulated Scaramouche, and then also through his human experimentation on both both adults and children. So I don't think there's any way through which Dottore, as we know him right now, would be playable. But how would we be able to have him playable without him being truly evil? Well, one would be a half-assed redemption, which I really do not see Genshin uh, Hoyoverse doing a half-assed redemption. Or two, a segment. Now you might be saying, but Nahida made him destroy all his segments. Well, yes, but hear me out. Crazy theory. There is one segment of the Tore who is actually good and uh, pretty much disconnected itself from whatever uh, network Dottori had over the other segments. Now, the only thing is, uh, the only thing that would go against this is why wouldn't the main Dottori go after this good Dottori segment uh, in order to get it back or to get rid of it? Maybe he didn't realize. Maybe he's doing that, but since, you know, both are the same person, but one is a good guy, maybe the good Dottori is just well hidden. Um, and was and, and wasn't found yet. Now I feel like this would be one of the two ways that Totori could be playable. The redemption part, I really, really, really do not think is going to happen because I feel like compared to Scaramouche, who was entirely manipulated and pretty much traumatized by every by 
every betrayal that he's had, I really don't think that Tori has any re redeeming qualities to him, right? So then I came up with this whole theory of having a good segment of Dottore if Hoyo ever wants to do a playable Dottore. The same way we kind of have the Wanderer instead of Scaramouche. Change design pre and pretty much like less asshole para personality, you know? Now, if you've seen some of my old theory videos, older theory videos pre Natlan, you would already know who I'm talking about when it comes to their order of resurrection. I am talking about Signora. Yep, my theory that Signora could be uh, had the possibility of being resurrected in Natlan has gone pretty much down the drain. With one exception, which would be really weird. Now, uh, what am I talking about? So, before Natlan, before we knew how the Oath of Resurrection worked, I thought maybe you just need to have the Pyro Archon resurrect someone, anyone of your choosing, or you would need a Gnosis in order to do that, or some weird power from Natlan. Well, you do need a weird power from Natlan in order to resurrect someone through the Oath, but only if they have an ancient name. Yep. In order to resurrect someone, you require that person requ needs to have an ancient name and then be resurrected by the Archon, going into the fire and searching for that person. Now, I don't know about you, but with Rosaline being from Mondstadt, I really do not think she has a Natalan ancient name. The only, only way through which I can see this still being a thing is if she somehow got an ancient name at the Order of the Tsaritsa, like the all of the uh, Harbingers or some of the Harbingers have gotten an ancient name uh, by going to Natlan and then doing whatever, because if I recall correctly, uh, Mavuika t t talked with the Traveler about getting him an ancient name, so people, even people outside of Natlan, can gain these ancient names. So, the only possibility in which the resurrection of Senora could still happen is if she somehow got an ancient name through whatever, uh, through whatever method that they might have found, you know, while she was still alive. But I really, really, really do not think that's the case. Which is unfortunate that we're not going to have all the Harbingers to be playable, because I really kind of hoped we would. The same way we're going to get all the Archons, why wouldn't we get all the Sovereigns or all the, uh, or all the Fatui Harbingers? Of course, we don't know about the Sovereigns, if we're going to get any more of them to be playable, maybe Nuvelet was just the exception. But yeah, so in the end, what, what, what's the conclusion? Shabalanke has a, around a 50-50 chance of being playable or not, and if he is playable, he's going to be, uh, or they're going to be more of a name, in, in like an ancient name sort of deal. Story, I feel like, has a way lower chance of actually being playable. His main segment that is currently alive is never going to be playable, in my opinion, because he's way too evil, and the only way would be through a special segment that was actually good and, and got uh, and, and ran away from the main network of segments that Dottori created. As for Signora, I feel like that's more of a 0%. There's no way feasible, in my opinion. Well, there is a way, but it's way too convoluted to say that, oh, Signora got an ancient name alongside a bunch of other Fatui, which would be interesting, but I really, really don't think it happened. Now, there's two other characters that I do want to talk about, but I do want to talk about more uh, about them in more in their own video, and that is Columbina and Capitano. Uh, mainly because of all the rumors that they, we've been hearing about the playable Fatui in this region. Because, truth be told, we got the playable Fatui in almost every region other than, I think, in Azuma. Uh, well, main, more not really region, but more like overall point X update. We got one in... we, we got Tartali in 1.X, we got Scaramouche in 3.X, we got... Uh, Arlecchino in 4.x, so why now why wouldn't we get one in 5.x, you know? Anyway, but that's for the next episode, and if you do not want to miss that, or you enjoyed this episode, why not leave a like, comment, or even subscribe? I want to thank you guys for watching, and hope to see you all in the next one.